What's up everyone, welcome back to The Big Hit. Today we're gonna to be going over a little bit of the NBA playoffs, what's happened uh, so far, and you know, our predictions, stuff like that. So uh, we'll jump into the first round. You wanna start off with a, a game? Yeah, so Milwaukee versus Miami. Miami got out of the play and I know you don't wanna talk about it. Nice. Um, sadly beat your Raptors. But other than that, the Bucks lost Giannis in game one. So this is after yeah. all of game ones have been played. So tonight starts games two for a lot of these teams. So Bucks are down 1-0 as the one seed. Giannis went out with a back, I think it was back contusion or mm -hmm. something like that. I think he's going to come back. Be all right. I'm going to take the Bucks in five. I think they survive. Maybe six, but I'm going to take five for now. As long as Giannis is back in game two. Mm -mm. This, this goes seven. There's Ooh. no one like Jimmy Butler in the playoffs. There's literally yeah. no one like Jimmy Butler. He dropped 35. You know, he shot 15 for 27, 43 minutes. I mean, no one's playing the amount of length that playoff Jimmy does. You know, I mean, he, he's a special athlete yeah. in the playoffs. And, um, you know, there's really no stopping him. We saw it in the bubble whenever he took on uh, Los Angeles in the NBA Finals. You know, he put mm -hmm. the team on his back. He's doing that yet again. And he's going to have to, you know, do that more with, without Tyler Hero, who suffered a broken okay. hand everyone's in that last hurt. game. Yeah. Every yeah. single matchup, that's like yeah. a different conversation. Been but, like, injuries. everyone's getting hurt. Seriously. It's crazy. Yeah, Bam Adebayo had a good game, 22 points. Um, nine rebounds. So yeah, th this is shaping up to be a good series. You know, mm -hmm. these are two really solid yeah. teams. Again, the Miami Heat are a team with such a deep roster. I mean, you have Kevin Love and you know guys like um, Kyle Lowry coming off the bench. Kyle Lowry has been playing terrible, though. Excuse me. <laughs> two points in 19 minutes. I mean, he's yeah, like running cardio that, out there. That's, that's there's no excuse. I am Kyle Lowry is one of my favorite players of all time. Yeah. There's no excuse. For for K dot to be dropping two points in nineteen it. minutes, I mean, but he only shot once. Why he's one for one? <laughs> That's so, I mean, like one of the top players in the yeah, NBA in the and, past um, couple of years. Kevin Love, not eighteen points. Caleb Martin, fifteen. I mean, these guys are um, playing well. Um, yeah, say. for from Milwaukee, Giannis only six points. You know, we saw he left the game after only playing eleven minutes. That, that's going to be a tough hit for from yeah. Milwaukee if he can't come back. I mean, we know this team is still decent without him, but you know, it's Giannis. Yeah. He's he's one of the most dominant players in NBA history. Freak, freak. Yeah, there's there's not a lot you can do. I'm gonna say, um, moving on. Uh, before we move on, I'll just say this: it's only been one game for every team. This yeah. playoff seems very good. Fun. A lot of competitive games, and like people on tours, like it's pure cinema. Some of these games, we'll get to some of those cinematic matchups that we were watching on TV. Next game, Cavs and Knicks. Okay. Um, Knicks are up 1-0 at the time of filming. Um, I thought that was a really good game. Kind of low scoring compared to the other ones. It was 101-97, to I think. That was the final score, yes. Um, Randall played really good. Um, R.J. Barrett, very good. If you think about Jalen Brunson, well, Jalen Brunson played pretty good. He has 27 points there, too. Um, yeah, the Knicks look pretty good against the Cavs. I think the Cavs could still do it in six. I think the Cavs are going to win it in Cleveland. No, I, I don't. I, I see the Knicks as a, t as a team that's being led by Jalen Brunson, who's been playing out of his mind. Jalen Brunson, you know, people were saying in the begin beginning of the season that this is a guy that they overpaid for and that, um, you know, people were making fun of the Knicks. And he's turned out to be one of the best acquisitions yeah. um, in free agent, mm -hmm. in last year's free agency. Yeah. I mean, Jalen Brunson had a great game, mm -hmm. 27 points in just 30 minutes, um, two rebounds, two assists. Um, three fouls, you know, I was say this, about the Knicks, for them to get out of this series, I think they need all of Randall, Brunson, and R.J. Barrett to click oh, all yeah. at the same time. Um, R.J. Barrett in game one had seven points. But when you look at the bench, Josh Hart carried the bench with 17. That's part of the reason the Knicks won game one. Um, other than that, I'm still going to take Cleveland surviving. This is like the equivalent of like the Bucks already being down and out. People are saying because Giannis is out. Um, I don't think it's over for them either of these teams. I think the Cavs survive. Yeah, I'm taking the Knicks here. I think that um, I think they're the better team mm -hmm. when it comes down to it. The Cavs are stacked. You know, Donovan Mitchell's been playing yeah. out of his mind this year. Garland's great. Jared mm -hmm. Allen. They have a really good. They have a really mm -hmm. solid starting five. Like a really good starting five. You got but, Donovan uh, Mitchell and MVP talks too. Yeah, for a I, lot of people. I don't think that they're gonna beat the Knicks though. I think the okay. Knicks are really solid this year. Okay, so then we move on. The third out of four matchups. This one could be an interesting one. Sixers and Nets. Um, the Sixers, of course, took Game One in convincing fashion. Um, Game two is, I think, tonight of filming. There's only two games tonight, actually. Um, I think, I don't, I know on the radio I said upset. I'm actually going to keep with that. I'm going to take, I don't know why. I think there's one upset in the East. I think it's going to be Nets in seven. So I know yours yeah. was the Bucks losing to the Heat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take Nets in seven over the Sixers. Yeah, um, I think that um, the Sixers are a great team. And they have the MVP on their on their mm -hmm. team, Joel Embiid. And as much as that pains me to say, he is the MVP. 
You know, there's no one that's been playing as dominant as him. You know, Nikola Jokic run back-to-back -back MVPs, and, and debatably, Joel Embiid has been robbed. You know, you could say one or two even times, and I, I think this is his year. He deserves it. Yeah. And it, it sucks. It's like when you're know, a Steelers fan, Lamar Jackson wins the MVP. You know, I hate. I really don't yeah. like Joel Embiid. You know, he's he's a player that I don't like to watch. Uh, you know, I'm a Toronto Raptors fan. I, I really despise the 76ers, but I have to give credit where credit's due. He's the MVP, mm -hmm. and th they looked good this series. You know, you, you have guys like James Harden um, dropping 23 points, doing what they were brought in to do, which Harden hasn't in other playoff yeah. series. His last season, you know, he was shooting like it was tour dates, mm -hmm. you know, like five for 23. It's like you don't want that to happen. And, um, yeah, he's been playing great. I think the Sixers are going to take this to seven, mm -hmm. and I think that, they win in seven. I think Macau yeah. Bridges is going to have a game where he drops over 45 points. Mm -hmm. I think the Nets, I think I'm going to have them survive in, though. Okay. Um, my reasoning is whenever they traded Durant and Kyrie, everyone counted them out. Mm -hmm. um, I think we both said on our radio show they were going to fall out of the playoffs. Yeah. And they hug, They just hugged to that sixth seed the whole time. Yeah. They proved a lot of people wrong. I like the additions they've made. And I know the Sixers won in convincing fashion game one. I think they're going to underperform, though, in the games in Brooklyn when it counts. And that's where it gets worrisome if you want to go to seven. Um, and then the Nets just show up. Like I think that could be Bridges' big game, game yeah. seven. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the Nets upsetting them. And then the final match in, in the East, Celtics and Hawks. Um, I'll just go really quick. No offense to Trey Young. I think this is a sweep. I got Celtics sweep in Atlanta. I, I think it's a gentleman's sweep. I think the Cel the the excuse me the Atlanta Hawks could squeak out a game Trey mm -hmm. if Trey Young drops like 50 points and goes off one night but the, the Celtics are the best team in the NBA okay. so it's like you know a team a playing team like the Hawks is not going to beat them mm -hmm. they're not going to you know make it out you know so I, I think you have to go Boston here I, I, I'll say five okay so each of us have a pretty bad game yeah. bad series for the Hawks here um, going to the West so we'll go back, we'll pick the Eastern champion after we go through the West here. Very quick, Nuggets and Timberwolves. Nuggets took game one. Denver as Nikola Jokic, who is another MVP candidate. He'd mm -hmm. be going for three in a row. Um, I am going to take the Nuggets in six. I, I think the Timberwolves make it interesting. There's a lot of uncertainties with them, though, with a lot of the drama with Rudy Gobert. Yep. Um, they lost one of their guys punching a wall. That's kind of a trend in the NBA lately. I've been seeing like every year it happens. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take the Nuggets in six. So I, I'm going to take the Nuggets as well. I think this is a sweep, actually. Okay. I, I really like the Timberwolves. I know we said I, on one of the first shows this uh, season on the big hit, I actually took the Timberwolves as being my sleeper team of the year. Yeah. I had Cat winning the MVP, yeah, then... and that just didn't happen at all. Mm -hmm. I really thought this team was going to click. Rudy Gobert, Carl Anthony Towns, Mike Conley, Anthony Edwards. I would loved this team on paper. Yeah. They have not done that. Anthony Edwards, 18 points. He's your best player, and 18 points in a playoff game mm -hmm. is not going to cut it. You yeah. see guys like De'Aaron Fox, Donovan Mitchell, they drop 38 points. That, that's what you have to be doing. You have to put your team on your back. Ant is still young. He has time to figure that out. But I don't know. I, I think that the, the Nuggets are annoyed that they, they've been there and they, they lose. And yeah. they, they can't get out of this, you know, playoff curse. It's like they, they an can't get void. deep. And I think this is the year that, you know, that, that they go a little farther. Okay. I'm taking the Nuggets here. Um, and then the game, we were talking about two, these next two series right before we did this segment. Um, the Suns and Clippers played a really good basketball game. It's the best playoff game I and watched. And then yet. the one after this we'll talk about, I thought that was the best playoff game I've watched, Warriors, which was Kings yeah. and Warriors. But let's go Suns and Clippers. Clippers took game one, 115 to 110. Um, Kawhi had 38 points. Kevin Durant put up 27. It was a battle between the two guys. I think this one goes seven, and I'm going to take the LA Clippers. So I'm going to take the Clippers as well, just because I don't like the Suns. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm really against Kevin Durant. That's really part of my reasoning, Katie. too. Like, And uh, I know you're not you're supposed to be unbiased here, but, I mean, you saw how the Clippers played, man. I mean, mm -hmm. Russell Westbrook was running around the court in the final play of the game. Unbelievable. And uh, I, I think that Westbrook has finally found his, you know, team he can thrive on. Kawhi Leonard again. Uh, dropped 38 points. Something about the stars dropping yeah, 38 points. You're, Mitchell did it. Mm -hmm. Kawhi did it. And they're, um, um, yeah, they're missing Paul Fox. George still. Paul yeah, George is George out. Um, but Eric Gordon stepped up with 19. He shot 50%. Really percent, seven for 14. Game one, three for seven from three. He missed a few wide open um, threes. The Powell on the bench, 14 points. Man, 10 points on the bench. They only played use four bench guys this mm -hmm. whole game. Um, I think the bench performed pretty well against the Phoenix Suns. 
They did that game on the road, too. Yeah. So oh, imagine yeah. what the Clippers can do if they had Paul George in that rotation as yeah. well. Um, I don't know when he's supposed to come back. I don't know if he'll be back for this series or if he's out for the playoffs mm-hmm. or not. But I'm going to take Clippers in seven. I'm going to take is, I think, Take Clippers in six. So both of us agree but Clippers there. Suns looked really, really good. We, we, saw, think, we saw the Clippers were off to a 15-point yeah. lead at one point, and then the Suns battled back, mm-hmm. and Devin Booker was playing out of his mind. He was stealing the ball yeah. every chance he got. I mean, Devin Booker looked like the best defensive mm-hmm. player in the NBA for a moment. And um, yeah, if he yeah. can play like that, I mean, we, he only dropped 26 points. But if he's playing with that heart and that defense that he did, I mean, I, I could see the Suns winning the series. This is a really big toss-up for me. So this, I'm going to go with the Clippers just out of spite. Yeah. I'll say this about this series. I think whoever wins is going to give the Nuggets a run for their money. Yes. And I think could definitely beat the Nuggets. Yep. I think that series Easily. is destined to go to seven games. Um, or it could be one of those teams that just shocks Denver out of like in a sweep or five. Mm-hmm. Kings, Warriors. The Kings finally got a playoff win. I think it's the first since 06, I think. Yeah. Or one of the first in franchise history. Um, I'm happy for the Kings. I got chills listening to that crowd that game. It reminded me when the Pirates made the playoffs and finally won a game in 2013, like first since like the 90s. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Kings in six. The Warriors played like they did always on the road. They always come up short this year. They're terrible on the road. And I, I think that's the reason the Kings win it. I like Kings in six as well, just because I believe that, you know, the Warriors, they're a really solid team. You know, <coughs> excuse me, they have Andrew Wiggins back now. Him and Jordan Poole are really good off the bench. But, I mean, Curry played again well, 30 points. He shot the ball really well. He mm-hmm. missed the game-tying shot at the end. But, um, yeah, the Warriors are a really good team this year. Yeah. I mean, you can never count out them, but I, I think that the, the Kings are one of the best teams in the NBA, and you can't, you can't look past mm-hmm. that just because they are the Sacramento Kings yeah. and they haven't really been there before. But th- this is just a pure example of a team that has literally never been there before and playing up. against the team that has one, been there every year. They are, is the most unexperienced mm-hmm. playoff team playing against the most playoff experienced team in NBA history. Yeah. And, um, yeah, if the Kings could pull out this um, series win, it would be huge for, you know, that That whole fan base, they deserve it. They've been in the basement forever. Um, I think I even had the Kings not even making the playoffs this year. They shocked everyone. They they wish to win 40 games. I'll I'll say this before we move on. I think the Sabonis for Halliburton trade is the most even in NBA history. Um, Both teams got great additions. The Pacers got Halliburton, of course. I think he got hurt midseason, but he was still killing it. He wasn't playing at the end. And Sabonis is playing like a beast in Sacramento. It's a great addition to the offense with De'Aaron Fox. Yeah. Um, and then the last matchup before we get to our uh, finals predictions, Grizzlies, Lakers, this is a trap series for Memphis. Um, I know you're probably going to pick the good old LeBron team. The Grizzlies, I don't want to say five. They get upset, but I think they get upset in six. I think, yeah, I think, they, I think they are 100% losing to the Lakers if, if my man Austin, Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura. So good. Ra- Austin Reeves had a legacy Legacy game and Rui Hachimura, as you said, Rui Hachimura. They, they played out of their minds. Everything. I mean, there was at the end of the game, LeBron was playing off ball. Mm-hmm. It was like I saw something. It was like Le- LeBron is just playing, and Austin Reeves, my player. Like, look at the box score. Um, we had Hachimura on the bench with 29, 20, Reeves great. with 23, yeah. Anthony Davis 22, LeBron with 21. That's like the first time in a long time bench guys have had more than LeBron and AD. Yeah. Both with none, neither of them put up 20, 23 or above. Yeah. But each of them put up 20. I don't really like the Lakers. They beat the Grizzlies in Memphis as the away team, 128 to 112 in game one. The, they won handedly. I'm going to take the Lakers in six, like I said. Um, do you want to do our finals predictions very quick? Yeah. Um, um, I guess I'll just start it. Um, NBA finals. Um, I think each of us picked them to go on our radio show. You should listen to that when you can. Both of us, I think, picked the Celtics. I'm going to stick with the Celtics. I'm going to take Celtics versus the, I think, Denver Nuggets. And this year, I think the Celtics win it all. Celtics in six over Denver. The Celtics-Knicks is, a closer, is going to be a closer series than the Lakers-Kings. Um, and I think that Lakers win the NBA Finals. Okay. You've been riding with that all year. I, I, I said that the Lakers were winning the championship when they were out of the plan. Yeah. And I, I never hey, gave up on them. Could happen, but yep. so each of us have the Celtics going on the way. You got Lakers, I got Celtics. Thank you all for watching this episode of The Big Hit. That was our NBA playoff predictions. Um, go watch our NHL playoff predictions. It'll probably be posted separately on YouTube. But thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week.